celebrate the 2018 Lunar New Year, the year of the dog. It officially begins February 16th. However, Denver's party starts a little early on February 9th. And here with more about this spectacular party, I'm really excited to introduce you to Executive Director of the Nathan YIP Foundation, uh, Tarika Southken, and also with us, Chinese calligrapher Harbor Chang. Good to have you both on the show. Thanks for having us. Thank you for being here. So Thank you. how do you say Happy New Year in Chinese? Happy New Year in Chinese is Gong Xi Fa Cai. Yeah, that's yeah. it. Gong exactly. Xi Gong Xi Fa Cai. Gong Xi Fa Cai. And yeah. it's uh, wishing you prosperity in the oh, new year. Oh, nice. Okay, I'm going to have to remember that. And why do you think the Chinese New Year is so important? Well, it's a major holiday that's celebrated all throughout Asia. So Lunar New Year follows the lunar calendar. Chinese celebrate it, Vietnamese, Korean, and it's um, ringing in the new year and big celebration all over Asia. So this new year is known as the dog. What does that represent? This is the year of the dog. So. Under the lunar calendar, there are 12 signs. The dog is the 11th sign of the lunar calendar. And people born in the year of the dog tend to be uh, brave, loyal. I mean, think about dogs. Yeah. And that's kind of the characteristics of them. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Unfortunately, I'm a rat. That's what I am. The Rats year are good of. too. That's okay. Um, so guests are going to find a Chinese night market. What is that all about? So the Nathan Yip Foundation is hosting a Chinese New Year party at the McNichols building. What we're doing is bringing the uh, night markets that you see all throughout Asia inside. So it's like an indoor night market shopping party experience. Fun. And a lot of entertainment too. What kind? Oh my gosh. We're having traditional Chinese lion dance. Ah. We'll have karaoke, silent disco. Karaoke. Within the night market, we're having a fortune teller, a portrait artist, and a calligrapher. And Harbor's here today, and he'll, I think, write your name in Chinese later. Oh, how excited! Okay, before we get to that, tell me about some of the, the exhibits that will be there. So, actually, in the Civic Center Park area, there's a Zodiac Heads exhibit right now by a Chinese contemporary artist named Ai Weiwei. So, there are these huge bronze heads that are um, all of the signs of the Zodiac, all the different animals. So, guests who come to our event can also venture out into the park and see that exhibit as well. Wow, when you guys plan a party, you really know how to do it. Harper, what interested you in a calligraphy? How long have you been doing calligraphy? After retire. After retire, yeah. really? It's over around 15 years. It's so, it's such a beautiful artwork. It really is. Would you mind spelling my name out in calligraphy? Sure, no problem. Okay, I want to take a little peek here. I mean, it truly, it is such a beautiful artwork and it's, um, it's kind of tricky to master too. How long did it take you to master it? Oh, click V is no secret. Only thing is practice. If you practice 24 hours every day, yeah. maybe take maybe 10 years. <laughs> if you practice one hour, maybe take 20 to 30 years. Well, you're a smart learner then, aren't you, huh? <laughs> quick learner, quick study. Wow, and do you, um, do you do this daily? Well, look at how beautiful that is. This is my name? Yeah. Wow. That so is gorgeous. Your English name is Daniel. My English name is Daniel? Yeah, right? Denise. Denise. Danny. Okay, in Chinese, we'll pronounce for three words. Dan ni er. Oh, that's why. So three words. Three words. Dan ni er. What is, um, why is calligraphy so important to Chinese? Well. What's the connection? Usually, a couple thousand years, calligraphy, that's the only way it came for writing. <gasps> Thank you. Beautiful, and you autographed it too. That's absolutely gorgeous. Thank you very much. So you said calligraphy was the only way to write in Chinese? Yeah. Okay. Right now, calligraphy just for art. Just for art. And, and you do it how many hours a day normally? Usually do it every morning when I wake up, cup of coffee, and I write maybe one or couple hours. Couple hours? Yeah. Do you write letters or do you write um, just pieces to like hang in your home, art pieces? Basically, we always practice some of the pun from the couple thousand years ago. Oh, okay. Yeah. This is not, right now, it's keep like a hobby. How, very nice, like a hobby. Well, you're very good at it and thank you for doing that for me. I really appreciate oh, it. I'm going to hang that in my home, frame it. It's absolutely gorgeous. How is the new year typically celebrated in China? In China, it's one of the major holidays. So everybody leaves the city and they go back home and they celebrate and eat with their family like we do here with our major holidays. Um, they'll go out shopping and eating in the night markets, which is why we're bringing the night market aspect into our Chinese New Year event as well. Fun. Tell me quickly about the Nathan Yip Foundation. So we're a nonprofit organization that's based here in Colorado. We've done a lot of work in China 
that and just in the past two years have uh, branched out into our backyard here in Colorado, partnering with rural schools to bring them much needed resources and tools that they often can't afford. If somebody wants to volunteer or get involved with the Nathan Yip Foundation, can they do that? Yes, and our website's the best way to get in touch with us. It's NathanYipFoundation.org. Okay. We also have a Facebook page, we're on Instagram, we're on Twitter. Oh, cool. I'm going to follow you a little yeah. bit later. Uh, do you have to buy tickets to the Chinese New Year celebration? Yes, so tickets are on sale on our website as well. So NathanYipFoundation.org. Okay, and plenty of time to do that. Yes. <laughs> okay, within the next few days. Thank you so very much. And before you go, would you mind writing Colorado and Company out? Or Coco? Coco. <laughs> Coco. Right. You can celebrate the Chinese New Year Friday, February 9th at 6 p.m. to 11 p.m. at the McNichols Civic Center building. Enjoy spectacular performances, Chinese night market, and interactive entertainment. It's going to be so much fun, including karaoke and also silent disco. Woo! Tickets are available online. Nathan, yep, that's YIPFoundation.org. All proceeds help the organization continue to provide educational support and educational funding for the most overlooked children in rural communities throughout Colorado and China.